night number three of the Knoxville Nationals, it is Hard Knocks night. And as I said in our format video, I love this night because it's basically a second chance for 27th onwards in points that aren't locked into Saturday shows uh, to have another go. The points are wiped and you've got to finish in the top four tonight to make it, uh, to start in Saturday's A main, which will be position 21 to 24. There are so many good cars now, i got a list here. There's Corey Day, Roger Crockett, Anthony Macri, Hunter Schoenberg, Shane Golovic, Sheldon Hordenschild, Cy Lynch, uh, Matt Jewell, uh, Brian Brown, Justin Henderson, Brady Bacon, Rico Abreu, Davey Heskin, Corey Elison, Spencer Basin, Craig Kinzer, who it looks like we're going to have a GoPro on his car tonight, uh, Brock Zifos, Kerry Madsen, who ran qualifying. I spoke to his guys uh, just before. Uh, they ran qualifying, didn't time good, and the way the format works, they were going to start. They missed the invert, and they were going to start the back of the heat, so they decided to just call it a night and go again tonight. And then you got guys like Brooke Tackle, who we were with last night, and Tim Hayfatip Jr., who's actually behind us with a uh, special car design this, uh, this week. So uh, a stacked field, and only four of those cars are going to transfer directly to the A main, and then fifth onwards will be lined up from the B main on Saturday night uh, from 11th onwards. So, uh, super, super tough night tonight. If you win tonight, I know it's a kind of best of the rest sort of night, but it's still not easy. But uh, looking forward to a good night. A little bit of wind here like yesterday in the same sort of temperature. Uh, I, I think the track's still pretty wet, so we'll wait and see what it does. But split field qualifying, it's more of an even night tonight. Uh, let's see what happens. those guys were happy to have a camera on their car. Uh, one thing I did want to show you before we get into it, which we haven't spoken about before, is how unique the Knoxville Nationals are as far as the pit setup. So usually, obviously, teams, uh, spring guard teams will work out of their haulers, their big 53 foot haulers. But on the infield here at Knoxville, they try to keep the haulers out so the fans can see. I think they brought it in when TNN was filming here for live shows for the Knoxville Nationals, but uh, now it's all streamed. But uh, yeah, what's unique about Knoxville Nationals that every team basically has to bring an open trailer with a truck to, to pull it to set up everything and it's actually a, a lot more of a setup than any other event that they do throughout the year. But, uh, as you can see here in the trailer, they've got fuel jugs, a spare wheel, a box of boxes of spare parts, they've got a spare rear end, some wheels and tires, a spare motor here or engine, and they'll use the truck or a, uh, a boom uh, to, to change the engine because they didn't usually do that inside the trailer uh, but yeah they have to get a, a truck to do that a tow truck so um, and then basically the, just behind that is their setup right now we're standing under their hustler tent I'm not sure why they have a hustler tent but uh, yeah basically they just got to set up here to chill out in the shade and then they got their mule in their car so uh, that's pretty much the setup for everyone here in the pits and tomorrow night will be even busier providing most of the cars show up um, something that's very unique about the Knoxville Nationals. guys doing there when uh, you had the hood off? I just sat in the idle, put yeah. a new engine in and uh, I had some stuff I had to do so I fired it up and uh, the idle was still a little bit 
too low. How come you changed engines? I was just trying another engine for tonight. Uh, yeah. We knew what we had for the second one. We felt like um, seeing if we could get going better. Yeah. And uh, what were you looking for uh, when you walked out to the track just now? Uh, just seeing what kind of condition it is to start at night. Uh, yeah. As opposed to the first two nights. Uh, so we somewhat see what we expect by the time we get out for hot laps and qualifying. But, you know, with uh, this day, with this many cars you got on, it's going to change. It might change quicker. Yep. Um, but just checking the moisture, on, at least on the top, seeing how packed in it is. Stuff like that. Little things.
How'd you feel in qualifying? Oh, uh, not very good. I didn't... Got some work to do still. A bit loose, so. Yeah, a little free, just not making any time up, so. Yeah. It and what you what you say to Mikey? To, does he just decide what to change, or do you yeah. call the shots? So how's that work? Uh, I mean, Mikey's the crew chief on it, so he yeah. he, uh, he works with it. Uh, we talk it out. He lets me do. I let him know what I'm feeling, and we try and make changes in the positive. So that's all we can do at this point. I see he's uh, changed the shocks. You guys got like a more of a slick setup. Yeah, about everybody in the pits He's got stuff they they do when the time. The track starts to slow, starts down. To slow down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it's how far to go and yeah. what to do with it. So. And I guess you just got to uh, try and make hay in the heat. Yeah, that's all we can do. I mean, we're, we're, we're here tonight, and then we put ourselves in a bad spot qualifying, so that's all we can do is just try and go forward. Heat race time. Craig didn't qualify that well, so he's buried out of I think position number six in heat four. He needs to finish in the top three. Like I said, if you watched the format video uh, that we made earlier on in the week, then you would know how the format works. But he's going out. Heat three's out on the track right now. He's lining up. Yeah, like I said, he needs to move forward in this heat. Uh, hasn't had speed. They made a few changes, like we spoke about with Craig earlier. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, he can move forward in this heat.
the B main is about to roll out. B main is pre game number two, that is. B main one's already been run. Craig didn't have a great heat race, as you would have seen. They've thrown a bunch of changes to it, uh, even changing bars. He's about to get pushed out right now. And they're not very comfortable right now, so uh, they're still got a happy attitude. It might, uh, might not show up in the uh, in the video, but yeah, they're still positive that you know they can move forward. Uh, it's they're definitely buried. Uh, there was a C main tonight, two Bs. Like I said, they're buried. They got to finish in the top three, but he starts out of position number eight with his B main. So got a lot of work to do again. They made a bunch of changes. We saw Greg Wilson come over, start chatting to Mikey and Craig about what they need to do with the race car. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. Too well for Craig Kinzer, unfortunately, he just went backwards in the heat. I spoke to his crew chief, Mikey Kemper, and he thinks, man, something's got to be wrong with this car because they're just no good at all. They didn't look comfortable all night, but they've been racing long enough to know that you know they can turn it around at some point. But just a disappointing nationals for them. I'm not sure if they'll come back tomorrow night. Uh, they seem to always stick it out, so wouldn't be surprised if they do. But for the feature race, we got onto Terry McCall's car. I think he's starting on the inside row in the top three or five cars, so uh, looking forward to see if he makes the A. Basically, all we want to see is if he finishes in the top four to make it through automatically to start on Saturday night's VJ in between positions 21 and 24. So, needs to finish in the top four to do that. We got the camera facing forward on Craig's car in the B main. It didn't cover in too much mud, even though there were cars all around him. So, hopefully we get some good footage for the onboard and let's see who locks in for Saturday's A main.
wanted? Uh, no, absolutely not. Yeah, I've only ran a four time, 410 about four times this year, five times. So I'm just kind of off on the setups a bit. We were, you know, we were good at times and then got really bad at the end. I was so tight on the cushion and so loose off of it. So we were just kind of hanging on. So pretty disappointed because we, man, we had a great shot at it, I think. And, and uh, a lot of guys we were racing with there were right there around fourth, fifth. So uh, uh, I'm not sure what happened. I just felt like my right rear tire sealed up and just kind of quit working. So uh, try to get better for tomorrow night. Oh, absolutely. That's uh, that was one of the greatest days of my life yesterday. Finding out they're having a baby, and then he puts it on pole the national. So that that's you can't hardly beat that day. That's a very, that's a great day. Yeah, you know, uh, that's why I raced 360s this year, so I didn't have to race against him and Carson, and uh, that way we spent a little more time helping each other on, on different stuff, and then, uh, you know, get short our engines like we have, I were able to give them my 410s to use, or give uh, Carson anyway, but, uh, you know, I go with Austin whenever I can. If, if Carson's not going and I'm not racing, I'm with Austin, kind of helping in mechanics, so it's a big family affair. We all three work out of the same shop, so it's pretty busy there, a lot of, a lot of stuff at that little shop, but... Uh, uh, it's great. We spend a lot of time together. We go to dinner all the time together. So we're a very, very, very close family. So uh, meant a lot last night. You know, like I said, I always tell the boys, if I do good, you're, that you do good. And if you do good, it makes me do good. So uh, it's good for our family when we all do well and gets us all pumped back up and just keeps us focused on racing. So uh, he, I'm proud, of, proud he's kind of holding up the end of the bargain there and making us all look good. All right, night number three is done. Rico Abreu, I think, led every lap from Kerry Madsen, who ran second. Sheldon ended up third and Brian Brown finally uh, right at the end there, finished fourth. I uh, thought Mark Stumsley might have made it. He was in front of Brown, running fifth for most of it and broke. Uh, Spencer Basin uh, got into battle on a restart, on the, I think the last restart with Brown and, and Hordenchild, and uh, he almost flipped it in one and two. So, um, yeah, he missed out. But, yeah, those top four guys, they'll make it uh, into Saturday's feature, starting 21st to 24th. Uh, we had a camera on Terry McCall's car. He wasn't really too flash, but uh, as you would have seen in the interview there, he's pretty stoked about his son Austin uh, starting on the pole tomorrow night. So that's a wrap for us tonight for night three, and uh, I can't wait for the championship final tomorrow night.